go to this registry key or file path right here. So you can simply copy it from the video description and then paste it right here into this bar and then hit enter. It should take you right there. But wait, 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 hold on, please. Before making any changes, back up the registry first. Just in case you accidentally end up changing something you weren't supposed to. Have you done that? Okay, great, let's continue. And now click where it says throttling and then change it to a hexadecimal value of 8F. So you are going to type F eight times. So that'll be FF2, FF4, FF6, FF8. <laughs> Too much math. Simply copy it from the video description and then paste it there. You should be good to go as well. And then click OK. And now click where it says responsiveness and then change the value to zero and then click OK. OK, great. So now at this point, open the game subfolder and then change the following values. GPU priority, 8. Priority, 6. Scheduling category, high. SFIO priority high. All right, now the next step is to reduce network latency while gaming. To do so, the first step is to figure out your IP address. To do that, simply open the Windows Terminal app and then type IP config. And then this will tell you your IP address. So now knowing this info, it's going to help you when accessing the registry editor. So now open the registry editor again and then go to this path right here. Again, all of this guys, you can find it in the video description. And after doing so, you will see several weird looking folders in the left pane, but that's okay. Uh, simply click through each one, one by one, and then go to the one that matches your IP address. So as you can see here, in my case, this one does. It matches the IP address I saw from typing IP config from the terminal app. Okay, good. So now stay in that subfolder that matches your IP address. So now we are going to create two DWORD32 bit values. So now simply right click and then hover on new and then click DWORD32 bit value and then name this one TCP ACK frequency. Again, copy it from the video description and then paste it there. And now create another value called TCP no delay and then click OK. And now you are going to click on both of the two values you created and then give them a value data of one. And then by doing this, this will disable Nagos algorithm and then reduce network latency for games, especially for games that require a network connection. So there you go. It's that simple to do all of this. For more videos like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching.